In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. Our starting lineups, a look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. start out with the ball and here's a Gunbawale pass to Sabali down low takes it from 10 that one a little long to the inside Shots good by Jefferson Wiley bet Sarazi incredible court pitch and it's the wings ball Here's Howard. Dangerfield outside. A kick out to Agumawale. Just four to shoot. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game, and Agumawale flashes signs of both. And that was the mobile one drive, low resistance to the finish line. A just tremendous intensity going downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Reiner, McCowan defending. A nice shot by Reiner. Fantastic pass. He made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Dangerfield outside. This one for three. Drains the three-pointer. I want to make it as a, a WNBA player at the guard position. You need a deep shot like Gainesville. Pass to Griner. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And her hard work on the boards gave them another crack at the points there. Outside, Sobley. Inside. Shoots it up. Howard can't get it to go. The WNBA had its first season back in 1997, and just three original teams remain. The LA Sparks, the New York Liberty, and the Phoenix Mercury. Now here's Jefferson. Here's Reiner in the hoop for her third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. But not only does a 6'9 height help Griner get the rebound, once she secures it, she's so close to the hoop, those second effort points come easy. Howard with the ball. Onion Wade covering. Back to Gumbawale. And again, it's the wings from deep. Sticking in the Valley of the Sun, the Mercury have had so much success. Yeah, in so many different eras. I mean, they were in their first finals, which was the second WNBA finals ever back in 1998. Then you had their glory years, winning three titles from 2007 to 2014. And then recently, they've been to the finals as well. It's just been decades of winning basketball in the desert. Now here's Dangerfield. Pasto Gumbawale, McCowan with the ball. She's guarded by Griner. Sobley. Dangerfield. Trained by Howard. From 11 feet away, Anyan Wade grabs the board. Phoenix with the ball. Rossi outside. Reiner with the screen. Now here's Tarasi. Defense right on her. Onion Wade. Takes the three. Garassi's shot is off. Now here's a Gubawale. Five points in the game. Back to Dangerfield. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the wings from deep. Zero hesitation from Dangerfield playing off the ball, confident in her shot. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Reiner, McCowan defending. Pass to Tarasi. Reiner. McCowan. The 
But Mercury with another miss. Howard with the ball. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Now here's a Goomba Wale. To the paint. Dangerfield outside. Three pointer. Another miss by Crystal Dangerfield. The Mercury Trail. Rossi with it. Picked up by Agumba Wale. Pass to Turner. And here's Griner. Jefferson. That's good. And so Brittany Griner gets the assist. Well, with her height, Griner, a clear view of the court, and allows her to spot open teammates. Now here's Saboli. Here's Agunba Wale. Pass to Howard. The three. Mercury with the rebound. Here's Jefferson. It drops for her third basket. She's only missed one shot. Over the last few seasons, the average salary of WNBA players has significantly risen. The average salary in 2022, it's more than the maximum salary in 2017, just five years earlier, which is a great, great sign for the league. That's key for many reasons. The less players that go overseas, the less injuries we will see. And that starts with salaries in the WNBA. Now here's Jefferson. She's got seven. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Guarded now by Aguda Wale. Hits it from three-point range. Accurate, quick, soft. It's a thing of beauty. It's a Diana Taurasi made three. Pass to Savoli. To the middle. Howard. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. The wings making a switch here. Phoenix leading. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Pass to Griner. Over Brown. Here's Coates. And she lays it straight in. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. They've been looking out of sorts here in the last few possessions. This is when they need to be patient and find a high percentage shot. Time called here, the wings decide to talk it over. She gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. First person to foul. Team's first. First team foul. It's her first trip to the line. Two shots. And the first one drops. And she makes both free throws. Here's Sutton. Shot off. So Dallas will take it the other way. And here's Burton. To the inside. Brown. That one drops for her. Backed by a, a strong body frame. Brown has no problem with the occasional contact finish. 
Here's Sutton. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. To the left side wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Coates, guarded by Sabaly. They get it again. Pass to Sutton. Reiner with the screen. Tries yet again. Sutton, no good. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Outside Howard. And here's Burton. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. Hard to get that shot off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for her, especially down low in the post. That's a big challenge she's taken on. Going in there with the bigs, great job. Pass to Griner. From down in the low post, it goes. What a physical presence down low. Griner's not afraid of anyone when she's around the basket. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Mercury up by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. And what do you guys think about the Mercury here in this one? really putting in the work on the offensive glass. They've set the tone here early with the hustle. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Three-point lead. Pass to Tarasi. Now here's Onion Wade. Here's Jefferson. Over to the wing. Just five on the clock. Now to Rossi. No good with the triple. Dangerfield outside. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. Pass to McCowan. And Ricky Griner with the block. Such a strong defensive prowess. I love how Griner makes the shooters think not once, not twice, but probably at least three times before shooting the rock around her. Now here's Jefferson. She has seven. Rossi outside. Hits the close range jumper. Well, it's that natural feel for the game that allows Tarasi to see plays before they materialize. I mean, she's creating while other people are still getting up to speed. Agumba Wale, no good. You see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket, but not that time. Dangerfield with the steal. Left side, Howard. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for her, one for four shooting. What a setup on that hoop. Dangerfield with the correct decision. Diana Tarasi on the wing. We're now around two minutes into this second quarter. Her shot is good, scores her third basket in six attempts. I think that's what Outside, Howard. Sabali. That falls. Nice speed that time from Natasha Howard. And that ties it up. You simply have to account for Satu Sabali from outside, even from way outside. Her long-range shot is one of her greatest strengths. Here's Greiner. Another shot. And she takes it up and lays it in. Just a huge hole in the defense, and she didn't waste any time going through it. Up top of Gunbawale. And there are the wings Enrique. with another bucket. We talk about players drafted and entering the league in the late 2010s. Arike Okobanwale is one of the few who still uses the mid-range. 
now. Here's Tarasi. She's got seven. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First personal foul. It's going to go on Tierra McDowell. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that. Really, that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. Two shots. First free throw is good. Now in the later stages of her Hall of Fame career, maybe the best career in WNBA history. Diana Tarazi understands her role to be a mentor both on and off the court to her teammates. And good on both. Now here's Agumbawale. Seven points in the game. They set the screen. Jacks up a three. And again, it's the wings from deep. Well, we know Agumbawale has the shooting touch, and she's more than comfortable extending her range. Pass to Turner. Reiner with the ball. Jefferson outside. Here's Griner. McCowan defending. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Jefferson. Shoots over Dangerfield. But Mercury with another miss. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Outside, Agumawale. No good on the triple. The Mercury trail. Tarasi. Now Griner. McCowan defending. Griner shots good. And sometimes this team relies on Griner to, to shoulder the load offensively. And guess what? She's more than happy to do her part, score the points. Now here's Dangerfield. She's got six. And she drops in the layup off glass. And it's the Mercury with the ball. Rossi outside. Screen by Griner. That three off the mark. Even with every shot clanging off the iron, she seems determined to continue hoisting up these threes. But I think it's time to maybe take a step in. Now here is McCowan. Pass to Jones. Now danger field. The three. Second chance shot. And she sinks the layup. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Here's Jefferson. She's got seven. Donyan Wade. Back to Jefferson. Down low. Rossi right side. Good on the triple. Smart. Find the player who scored the most points in WNBA history. And Tarasi wasted no time for the feed. And the wings call time here. the wings with the ball. Pass to Burton. Here's Jones. Now here's Kuia. Now Burton. Shot clock at five. High arcing shot. It's good and she makes her first shot of the game. Here's Sutton. to Turner. Out 
to the wing. Inside. Burton with the rebound. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was a Rike Ogumbawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. From the yard. It's rebounded by Phoenix. it off the glass. Agumba Wale, a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. A rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign, a first team all WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Marike winning a scoring title in that wobble season, solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings. It's Burton. Here's Jones. Offline with the three. Right side, Sims. Turner a screen. Nine feet out, and there's another one for the Mercury. She burrows her way in there, and the D just sort of backed off. Pass to Burton. the right iron. Phoenix in the lead. Pass to Sutton. Turner with the ball. Covered by Kuia. They swipe it. And here's Burton. Here's Jones. Beyond the arc, the three-pointer is on target. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. It's the Wings. They're up by one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Quite a game for Diana Taurasi. It's amazing to watch. She spoils us with her performances game in, game out. And so far, another big scoring night for her. And oftentimes, when she puts up that many points in the first half, she follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. And now, the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Turner a screen. The drive by Diana Taurasi. The three-pointer, no good. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense has taken a big chance leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Now here's Sabali. Here's Agumawale. That's in there. Satu Sabali with the dime. All right, talking specifically about guards here, who do you guys think is the best defender in the backcourt? I'm going with Ariel Atkins. She's an all-defensive member in every WNBA season she's played in, and she plays with incredible effort and intelligence on the defensive end. She's a player that never gets tired. Atkins is great, but I'll go with Brittany Sykes. Tremendous length, basketball IQ. Most importantly, every night, Sykes 
leaves it all out on the floor. Just five to shoot. She can't get that one to fall. And it's Phoenix the other way. Pass to Jefferson. Back to Tarasi. Make it five for 10 for her with that one. A competitive player with high level intangibles. Tarazi's been torching defenses for years. Now here's a Gumbawale. 12 points for her. Goes up at the stripe, and she hits the jump shot. Check out the handles on a Gumbawale in the pick and roll. She moves so fluidly on the hardwood. Past on Yunwede. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Back to Tarasi. It is good, and it is a six make against 11 attempts. The quality trip down the floor, Onion Wade providing the assist to a very open teammate. Outside, Sobley. Powered. That's in there. Satu Sobley with the dime. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch, nice shot. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Arike Agunbawale with a strong contribution so far in this one. She continues to burn him at the offensive end. The coaching staff is going to have to make an adjustment. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to Griner. Cowan, Reiner misses. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Right side of Gugawale. Sobley with it. Five on the clock. Baseline J on the way. Goes back up. And it's finished off inside by McCowan. And when you talk about McCowan, you start with her rebounding. Led the league in advanced board net tricks, those advanced rebound numbers during her rookie year. Now here's Onion Wade. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Tarasi. Jefferson. Shoots over Dangerfield. And that one hits back iron. That's a shot. She's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Sabali. Arun Wale. Onion Wade covering. Reiner with the rebound. The Mercury Trail. Now here's Jefferson. Diana Tarasi on the wing. To the paint. Reiner shots good. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. So it's Dallas now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's a Wale. Kicks it out to Sabali. That one falls, coming off Arike Wale's nice feed. It's big for Sabali's confidence when she hits from three-point land because she knows she has the touch. Well, Arike Agumbawale went to back-to-back -back national title games, and her college teams were loaded. I mean, she was teammates with 2019 first overall pick, Jackie Young. So it's Dallas now. Outside Agumbawale. Pass to Howard. McCowan. Dangerfield, right side. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Big time putback. What a great motor she has. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder than her. And night in and night out, this is the kind of effort level she gives you. Now here's Jefferson. He's got seven. Pass to Tarasi. Back to Jefferson for three. The shot, no good. 
The wings go the other way with it. And those college teams that Arike played for, insanely talented. Well, Brian mentioned Jackie Young, also sharpshooter Karina Mabry. We've seen her excel in the league. And you add in Brianna Turner, Jessica Shepard. I mean, Arike was part of a WNBA level starting five back in her college days. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's Tarasi. 16 points for her. That's in, and she's 7 of 12 now for the game. When you make more buckets than anybody in WNBA history, you have to score in the paint. Tarasi never scared inside. And the wings call time here. The left wing down low, Howard up and in on the layup. Using her touch and tenacity around the rim, Howard's able to beat a number of defenders inside. Pass to Sims. Back to Tarasi. Puts up a three. He can't hit that time. The wings go the other way with it. Now Dickey. Looking for her first basket still in this one. to Howard with some mark a chance to extend the lead to double digits but it's no good and here's Sutton Tarasi guarded by Howard Tarasi outside and the Mercury tack on two more you have to guard all parts of the court against Tarasi. Once she crosses half court, she will score from anywhere. Pass to Saboli. Soft touch off the glass. Here's Sutton. Now here's Tarasi, guarded by Howard. Tarasi outside, to the inside. That counts. She's put up 13 shots, and now has made eight of them. As deadly passing and shooting, Tarasi a dual threat in the pick and roll. Here's Dickey. She's covered by Sims. On the wings, Satu Saboli. Clock at six. Pass to Burton. Outside Howard. No good on the three. Rossi with it. 20 points for her. Here's Onion Wade. Tarasi. Here's the three. The shot off that time. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Wings leading by six. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Well, I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. And welcome back as we get rolling once more. Fourth quarter right ahead and what'll be a very well contested game. Right side of Gumbawale. Puts it up from 12. Kicks it out to Dangerfield. And a miss there on the triple. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. To the wing, right side. 
Turner guarded by Howard. Greiner up top. Jefferson. Pass to Sutton. From deep three-point range, and they force the shot clock violation. Great defense. Dallas in the lead. Now here's Dangerfield. Outside, Sobley. Here's Agumboale. Here's McCowan. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Well, this is where she's going to make her money professionally. 6-7 with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. Now here's Onion Wade. Reiner with the screen. And two free throws coming up as she misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. At the line for your Phoenix victory, Michaela Onion Wade taking two shots. The first free throw is good. Selected sixth overall in 2021, Michaela Añuere is a strong wing. The type of player really every team wants. Both shots good from the strike. And here's Agunba Wale. Howard the screen. Agumba Wale, shot is good. Not quitting on the play. Arike loves finding ways to finish on aggressive coverage. Out to the left wing. Now on Yunwe Day. Rejected by Tierra McCowan. Outside, Sobley. Pass to Dangerfield. Howard. Sobley. She's covered by Jefferson. Four on the clock. Wing shot on the way. The offensive rebound. McCowan with the bucket. She is a coach's dream, guys. Absolutely tireless. Never gives in, never gives up. And that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. Now here's Onion Wade. Pass to Griner. Lays it up and banks it in. You want to stop Griner when she's attacking the hoop? Didn't think so. Too much coming at you. Outside of Gumbawale. And here is Howard. Onion Wade covering. Back to Google Wale. Dangerfield. Sobley the screen. And Crystal Dangerfield with the triple. Running the pick and roll. Dangerfield so tough to stop. She's got that great burst. And it's the Mercury with the ball. 11 point game. Now here's Onion Wade. Guarded by Howard. Pass to Griner. Jefferson outside. Right wing. Griner with the screen. Tries again. Sutton, no good. That he should be thanking her for that miss. Now here's Sabali. Arjun Bawale. Onion Wade covering. From deep, Satu Sabali. The shot misses. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Reiner, shot is good. And how huge has she been? 
to give her team a lift. Yeah, certainly their deficit would be a lot bigger if it wasn't for her efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Howard, that's in there. Satu Sabali with the dime. The attacking mindset of Howard. When she gets a good look inside, she doesn't pass it up. Pass to Turner. Reiner. Now Sutton. Here's Griner. McCowan defending. Shoots a fader. And too long on the shot. And here's Agumbawale. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Well, Agumbawale's scoring outbursts are getting more and more common. And I attribute that to her advanced offensive identity. Now here's Onyonwede. Unable to get that one to go. Good work defensively by Natasha Howard. Pass to Dangerfield. The three is up. That's all good, and that's her fifth basket of the game. Three points. Shooting five for 11. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's been by design or by accident, but either way, it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just uh, put a number three out there. Now here's Howard. Pass to Sabali. Here's a good Wale. Howard with the ball. That one falls, coming off Arike Agumbawale's nice feed. And as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. A great overall game. Here's Sutton. Pass to Jefferson. Reiner. Here's Sutton. The Mercury with another miss. You know, you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, and it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. Now here's Sabal. Here's McCowan. And again, it's Dallas converting. Strong instincts from Sabal. She spots a wide-open shooter and dishes the ball accordingly. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Yeah, I think the coach is trying to take the wind out of their sails here. They're on the wrong end of a run and need to sort things out offensively and defensively. Yeah, things were starting to spiral out of control on them a little bit, and a timeout was a no-brainer there. Yeah, exactly right. Turner to Rossi, guarded now by Agumbawale. Back to Tarasi. Shot clock at six. Reiner, shot is good. Fired that bounce pass in there beautifully. And let's take another look at that fantastic mobile one drive. Well, there was some fight in that one. I know they're down a lot, but you got to keep playing hard. Here's Agunbawale. Sabali down low. Onion Wade covering. Here's Howard. That's in there. Satu Sabali with the dime. It's pretty simple for Howard. She went to the gym, worked her tail off, and the 2018 most improved player can hit from here now. Now here's Tarasi. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. Oh, she's got such a great touch and feel around the rim. She made that reverse look easy, but trust me when I tell you, it's not. Time called here. The wings decide to talk it over. The wings with some changes. Now 
pass to Burton. Here's Jones. And here's Dickey. Brown with it. Five to shoot. An easy two points on the layup. Not much of a distributor, but Brown's feel for the game is strong enough to help her spot open teammates. Back to Tarasi. Pass to Griner. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Sometimes you look at Brittany Griner and you think she is an unstoppable force. A little bump, it doesn't do anything to stop her. She's so locked in on scoring. It's Burton. Now here's Brown. Jones, she's covered by Tarasi. And here's Dickey. The rebound by Sims. Pass to Tarasi. They grab their own miss. And so it's Dallas easily grabbing this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says an awful lot about this team. Yeah, Blake, I guess they don't need home cooking, like you know, you're cooking from your mom, to feel at home. Just a masterful performance all around for them. So that's gonna do it for this one, folks.